Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We're going to review what we saw the other day and I'm going to put you a little test, just a little test. Uh, remember this, this should be for you. Anyway, I'm going to do it again. I told you how this was, this was the electronic configuration, the Muller diagram, and I told you to put it in a line for it to be easier for you, because this goes like this. It doesn't go by line, but it goes uh, in a diagonal way, okay? So it goes like this, then like this, so the order would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. This is the order in which electrons goes around the nucleus of an atom. So, I put this thing too. Maybe you will see it easier if you put little dots here to serve the electrons, two in the first level, two here, six here, two here, six here, two here, ten here. So I'm going to take this out. Yeah. I have it, but I have it in the other building. I will bring them for next day. Don't worry, take it out. Write it down again. It's just this line, okay? I'm going to do some easy ones. What? You have level one. Level one has just one orbital, okay? The orbital S, who can hold two electrons, okay? One and two. The level two has two, two orbitals, S that can hold two electrons, and P that can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Level three has orbital S with two electrons, and orbital P with six. And also orbital D with 10. Why are they called SPDF? There's no reason. There's no special reason. It's just a, a way to name them. Okay? So you got in level one two electrons at most. In level two, you got two plus six, you got eight electrons. In level 3, you got 3 orbitals with 2, 6, and 10, 18. This was the last thing I was going to explain today, but I've done it. Okay? So, into each level, you got different number of orbitals. One here, two here, three here. Each of one is a line. The other day we did the line thing, so this would be the first orbital of the first level, just for level. Orbital 2s, orbital 2p, two orbitals for level 2, uh, eight electrons. Next one, orbital 3s, 3p, 3d, 2, 6, 10, 18. Okay? And so on. As we're not going to do any more than this, Today, it's enough. Maybe you want to copy it. A copy, write it down. It's important. Okay? For you to know that there are levels, and into each level...
Can I go on? No? Come on. Can I go on? Can I go on? Don't worry, Maria de Los Angeles. I'm recording it. Don't worry, you can see how many times she was. Hydrogen, one electron. How do you know hydrogen has one electron? Because you see, you look at the periodic table, you got one here two here. In your books, do you have your books? Yeah. In your books, on page uh, uh, 105, you got one periodic table. Okay? 105, you got a periodic table. But the numbers are not in the same place as the one there. So you got here, in that table, you have it in the upper right corner. The atomic number, that is the number of protons and the number of electrons. Okay? So for hydrogen would be 1s1. For helium, Two electrons, one is two. For lithium, three electrons, one is two, two is one. For beryllium, we got four, one is two, two is two. For boron, five, one is two, two is two. Yesterday, the other class was uh, writing here a three. When you're finished with this, you got to get to the other one. So you got here 2p1, okay? For next one, carbon, six. Okay. 2s2, 2p2. I love carbon. 2p2. Carbon. Nitrogen, 7, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P3. Oxygen, 8, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P4. Fluor, 9, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P5. And Neil, 10, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 P6. So the test is to make the electronic configuration for, let's say, beryllium, nitrogen, fluor, magnesium, and uh, sulfur. Okay? This is the test. Come on, do it. Come on. 